Welcome to Castle Tech Tips. This is Thomas the Tech, and today we're going to be going over reasons why a Castle ESC may not turn on. The main cause of this issue is a bad on and off switch. You can actually bypass the on and off switch by snipping the little black and the red wires and pulling off some insulation and twisting the bare wires as we've done here. Then just plug in the battery and if the ESC turns on, you had a bad switch. Now bypassing the switch does not void your warranty. Uh, and if you choose to, you can leave the switch bypassed. Ideally, you wanna solder this connection together, throw some heat shrink or electrical tape to protect that connection. Or if you have a Cobra series like this or an X series ESC, you can actually buy a replacement receiver harness that will include a new switch and you can easily install that into the ESC. If bypassing the on and off switch doesn't work, then it may be an issue with the receiver or something connected to the receiver. First thing is just make sure the uh, ESC is plugged into the receiver correctly. On most uh, receivers, the orange signal wire should face toward the inside of the receiver, as you see here. Uh, if that is okay, the next thing to do is to remove everything from the receiver except for the ESC. Sometimes a bad servo, so bad lights can prevent the ESC from turning on. So if you remove everything and the ESC turns on, you may have a bad servo, light assembly, something like that. If that still doesn't work, try disconnecting the ESC from the receiver entirely and powering it on. If the ESC powers up while disconnected from the receiver, then you may have yourself a bad receiver. The next thing to check is just your battery connections and just make sure you've got a good solid solder connection and just make sure that battery connector is nice and clean, not corroded. Just make sure we're getting a good electrical connection. Same thing on the battery itself. And also with the battery, just double check to make sure you're getting good voltage. You can use a multimeter to check the voltage output on the battery plug, or most modern chargers will let you know if the battery's in good shape. If none of those suggestions work, then it may be an issue with the ESC itself. At that point, it's probably best to go ahead and contact our customer service department. There'll be a link down below in the description and also on screen right here. Just give them a call or shoot them a message and they'll get you all sorted out. Thank you for watching this episode of Castle Tech Tips. Be sure to subscribe for the latest content. If you have a suggestion for future videos, please feel free to leave a comment below.